Philips is a company known for a lot of things, but not e-ink. That is, until recently. This is the Business Monitor 3000 series. Thank you to Philips for sending us this sample. If you don't know what you're looking at, let us take you back to a really quick video. Philips released the Business Monitor a month back from this video's upload, which featured an LCD LED panel, and it had a 13.3 inch e-paper panel connected to it. It pivoted out 45 degree angles and you could not remove it until now, kind of. It's just that they did it for you. Yes, they took it off, packed it up, and are selling it as a standalone product called the Business Monitor 3000 series. Which brings us to the unit in front of your eyes as we speak. This is a 13.3 inch UXGA 1600 by 1200 resolution e-paper display. It has a USB-C, a display port, a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the bottom you'll find various buttons that will command the different speed modes it features. That's enough chatting, let's build it and turn it on. If you guys want to see the full review of the business monitor with a PC laptop, click the video up above. But all you would do is just plug that in basically. This requires no setup procedure whatsoever. In fact, all we do is plug in our USB-C smartphone to the monitor, no HDMI, no display driver, and away it goes. Let's start with the buttons at the bottom. If you press this button on the very left, it cleans everything up. It pushes a refresh. If you push this, you get three light modes. You get blue, you get warm, and you get off. The next button over is all of your speed mode. So as you press this button, you will go down the list. So you have text 4, text 3, text 2, and text 1. It will get more desaturated as you go. Then goes into video 2 and video 1, and that's the absolute fastest mode, which we will show you when we go into the video section. You can also press the button to turn smart clean off or on, and then you can go over to language, input, or reset. This cycles through all of your options. We're going to leave it in text 4 just for a little bit so we can show you guys the overall quality before we go and dilute anything. So we're going to open up a book and we're just going to command it from here. So this is the book experience. You will see in its inherent form it looks really good, but it gets a little bit crunchy when you start to move it left and right. To be honest, it's not displaying a whole bunch of ghosting. In fact, there's little to no ghosting on this whatsoever, and that's a very good point because a lot of the time there's the remnants of a previous screen in there but you just don't get that on this monitor now you will see it's pretty slow so if we want to change that we can mitigate that by changing the speed modes as we showed you a second ago so if we go text one it starts to speed up a little bit more but you now we see that ghosting in the background and when you see it automatically refresh that is the smart clean setting so as we're swiping this along you will see that it is much quicker than it was before if we don't care about the actual quality we can turn it into video mode in which case it gets lightning quick and you don't even have to just use the book experience this can be applied to anything and it's extremely fast in fact this is some of the fastest refresh we've seen in e-paper monitors granted there's only three manufacturers but they are in the upper echelon of refresh and most definitely up in the, at least the top five of refreshes in general we've seen this kind of refresh rate on devices as big as dasung and hisense this is very very quick and there's really no struggle whatsoever you can utilize this unit as a monitor for your cell phone or your PC but if you're scrubbing through the video we are just on our smartphone for now. Manga and graphic novels look fantastic as well but again you have to always manage yourself with these speed modes. You live and die by speed modes when it comes to consuming content and that's because there's the right tool for the right job effectively. For video mode it's very diluted but it has a time and a place so something like text 2 which has a little bit more of a lower contrast might be a little bit better for graphic novels once you're in it you can pinch and zoom although you don't have to because this is such a large screen at this point you can see compared to 
to my hand here that you don't really have to pinch and zoom, although you can. The quality is more than enough to get a miraculous experience and get the full idea of what's going on in front of you. But with something like black and white manga, it's so lightweight that you're not really going to have any hindrances when it comes to whatever mode you may choose. Browsing the web is seamless, it's very fast, it's very concise, there's really no slowdowns whatsoever. This is going to be the exact same experience as if you're reading an ebook, if you're contacting people through instant messaging services it's all going to be this experience it's not going to be affected by any app you're running this unit is never going to be faster or slower it is all just mirroring what is on your smartphone or your pc laptop off camera this is not anything there's nothing inside the Philips that is utilizing its own power there's no battery there's no processor there's no ram there's no storage there's nothing that is built into the unit that dictates how it should perform it is simply just a mirror window of whatever you show through the display port the HDMI or the USB-C Forget about the web browsing experience, the fluidity of this video is absolutely insane. It's mimicking the phone off camera here. Let's put this into frame and show you exactly what they're both looking like here. That is as fast as black and white e-ink can currently get while still showing you the depth of the highlights and the lowlights as to not dilute anything past the point of understanding what it is. That is blazingly quick for e-paper devices. In the world of e-paper products, it doesn't get much quicker than something like what you're seeing on screen. You might see a couple outliers like the Onyx Books Mira Pro with 27 speed modes, but an even balance of everything you're seeing right now, this is incredible. You can play games as well with almost flawless refresh rates and there's no slowdown whatsoever. Games are very fluid as this does utilize multiple speed modes, but it is only advisable to play games when you are in the fastest speed mode because anything else is just not going to cut it. After four videos of Philips e-paper devices and several articles showing that they're getting into things like color e-paper as well, we kind of scoffed at the idea that they're making these big monitors and not e-readers. Well, why is that? Because technically, no one's really making e-paper monitors right now. Dasung is the only player in the game that's actually doing it to any extent, and Onyx followed suit with only a few units several years ago. It seems that Philips may have found their perfect fit for themselves in the industry. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.